A new tragedy this morning involving human smuggling along the U.S.-Mexico border. This is the scene along a remote back road in San Antonio, Texas. Last night, 46 migrants at least found dead inside a tractor trailer. 16 more were rushed to hospital. Of those, 12 were adults, 4 children. Michael Serapio has the very grim details today. Michael? Heather, good morning. And it, according to San Antonio police, it was a local worker who alerted authorities to this abandoned tractor trailer uh, drawn to the scene apparently by a cry for help within the rig itself. This was just before 6 p.m. last night local time. Now this was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but authorities say there was no visible working air conditioner unit on that rig. And when they arrived on scene, they discovered a back gate had been opened, a body lying on the ground, and as you said, at least 46 dead migrants, both adults and children. 16 people were found alive for the minors. They are expected to survive, but they're being treated right now at local hospitals for heat, exhaustion and dehydration. Now, everyone inside that truck is believed to be a person who crossed the Texas southern border illegally, lured by human smugglers as a means of crossing into the United States undetected. Take a listen to the mayor of San Antonio, Ron Nirenberg. There are, um, that we know of, 46 individuals uh, who are no longer with us, who had families, um, who were likely trying to find uh, a better life. Uh, but this is nothing short of a horrific human tragedy. No information has been shared on the nationalities of the victims. Of course, historically, we know that many people have tried to cross the Texas-Mexico border from Mexico itself, as well as other Central, Central American countries, as well as Caribbean countries like Haiti. Uh, we can tell you that three people are right now in custody. Heather, their connection to the truck has not yet been disclosed. But sadly, what took place is believed to be one of the deadliest tragedies associated with people trying to cross into the United States from the Mexican border. Yes, one of the deadliest, certainly not an isolated story, though, Michael. This continues to be a major issue along that border crossing. What has been the latest reaction to this? Well, let's begin with the Texas governor, because Greg Abbott has been very quick to lay the blame at the feet of the Biden administration. He says this was the result of Joe Biden's refusal to enforce American border laws. But politics aside, migration arrests are at historic highs in Texas. Last month alone, nearly 240,000 people were taken into custody at the border for crossing illegally into the United States. And that is on top of a record 1.73 million arrests that were made last year. Uh, the worry right now is as summer temperatures rise, vulnerable people will be more tempted to turn to human smugglers because the terrain in southern Texas is harsh. The desert heat is punishing. And sadly, what was discovered yesterday may still not deter desperate people from turning to what's been described as reckless individuals have who are willing to endanger human lives for financial gain. Michael, thank you very much. You're welcome.